one of the instructors at the University Pain Center. I'm going to do a short cardio workout for you today. It's HIT high intensity interval training. So we're going to do three exercises in four different sets. We're going to do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. There will be a lot of cardio today and a lot of options for you. If you want to um, make this video or make this workout a little bit longer, then you can pause the video and instead of doing two rounds as we go through, you can do three or four rounds so that you can get a longer workout. You might need a mat or a towel for our core workout at the end. And if you would also like to grab a weight, if you have one, you do not need it. But if you don't have a weight, you can also use a water bottle as an option. So we're going to get started with our warm up and then we'll get uh, going through the rest of our exercises. So let's get started. March in place. And we're going to start with warming our body. Again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds, I mean, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So just march in place. Swing those arms because we want to get that heart rate going. And we're going to switch to some ham curls. In four, three, two, switch to a ham curl. And here, we're just lightly picking up our heels, going to our glutes. And I want you to open up those arms, open up that chest, get that heart rate going. You can squat a little. Get those hamstrings and those quads warmed up. We're going to switch to some front kicks. Coming up. In four, three, two, front kicks. Reaching for your toes. You don't have to kick high and you don't have to straighten that leg. We're just getting the body warmed up here. Reach in alternate pan. To alternate foot. Make sure that belly button is pulled tight and your core is engaged. Here's four, three, two, last one. Now let's switch to some squats. Feet hip width apart and squat. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. And you squat back. You don't have to squat very far. Just go with your range of motion. Continuing to warm up the body here. Going back to the beginning, marching in place. This time, if you want to, now that we've warmed up a little bit, pick it up to a jog. Jogging in place. Pick those feet up, swing the arms. Light jog. Get those ham curls next. In four, three, two, ham curls. Opening up that chest again. Another option right here is you can do butt kickers. Pick those heels up. Try to touch your hands. Just 10 seconds. We're going to switch back to those Frankensteins. In four, three, two, switch to that front kick. Remember, you don't have to lift that foot high, but you do want that core engaged. Belly button, pull through the spine. We're coming up to our last exercise in our warm up. Going back to squats. In three, two, squat it out. Feet hip width apart, squat and squeeze. Squeeze those glutes, 
Press your hips toward the front, keeping those knees behind the toes. All your weight should be in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes up off the ground. 10 seconds. In four, three, two, last one. Great job, good workout, warm up, good warm up. We're gonna switch now to our exercises. So I want you to step touch. I'm gonna to show you those three exercises for our first set. We have a squat jump with two jacks. We have a burpee. And we also have mountain climbers. So I want you to get ready for that squat. Squat jump and then two jacks. Squat jump, two jacks. Then we have a burpee where you're gonna come down, pop it out, forward and up. And then we have slow mountain climbers where we're reaching opposite knee to opposite elbow. So let's get started. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Squat jump to two jacks. I'm gonna give you some options. Squat onto your toes, jack, jack, or squat jump, two jacks. Squat on the toes, two jacks. Squat jump, two jacks. We're halfway there. Four, three, two, last one, rest. Going to those burpees, options. You can step it out and step it back up and come onto your toes. Three, two, burpees. Down, out, together, hop. Down, step it back, step forward, come onto those toes. This is your workout, so you decide your level. Almost there. In four, three, two, last one. Now we have those diagonal mountain climbers. We're going to come down into a plank. Three, two, knee to elbow. Make sure that your glutes are down and you're reaching your knee across your body. Shoulders are over your wrists and you're already halfway there. Make sure we don't have any mountains or any valleys. Keeping those glutes down. Three, two, Stand it up slowly. Back to that squat jump and two jacks. In three, two, here we go. Squat jump, two jacks. Squat jump, two jacks. Remember, you can come up onto those toes and jack. You also can jack it one step at a time. Almost there. Don't give up on me. Three, two, one. Here comes those burpees. Get ready. In four, three, two, bring it down. Step it back or hop it. Come into that burpee. Remember this option. Stepping. We're halfway there. Keep it going. Keeping the heart rate up. Here's five, four, three, two, last one. Now we have diagonal mountain climbers. 
Get down into position in a plank. Three, two, alternate those elbows. Knee to elbow. Look down and make sure that your shoulders are over your wrist. Your core is engaged. Keep it up. You do not have to go fast here. Almost there in three, two, last one. Stand it up slowly. Great job, you finished set one. Now we're gonna to go to set two. I want you to step touch here, stay up on your feet, get some water, stay hydrated. Also remember, if you wanna make this a little bit longer workout, you can pause the video here now and do two more rounds of those three exercises. So grab some water and let's get started on our next set. So the next three exercises are all to do with squats. We have a squat jump or squat up onto those toes. We have a sumo squat pulse. So we're gonna step our feet out wide, come down, knees pressing to the outside of our pinky toes and the toe, knees are tracking to that middle toe and we're gonna pulse. And then we're going to do a squat abductor lift, squat and lift, squat and lift. So put those water bottles down and let's get started. We're gonna to go to a squat jump in three, two, squat jump, option, squeeze, squeeze. You can come up onto your toes or hop it. You decide what works best for you. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, last one. Shake those legs out. Getting ready for that squat pulse, sumo squat. Here we go, track those knees, the two of the toes in three, two, sumo squat pulse. Just gentle pulses here. You're working these quads. Make sure your knees are pressing to the outside. You should feel it in your inner thighs as well. We're halfway there. Tiny pulses. You can always come up a little bit higher. Here's four, three, two, and stand it up, shake those legs out. And we're gonna to come to a leg lift here, working those abductors. Feet about hip width apart in three, two, squat, and lift out to the side. Make sure to keep those knees behind the toes. Weight is in the heels, and you're just gently lifting that leg out to the side. You can always hold a water bottle in your hands to get a little bit extra weight. I want you to squeeze those glutes when you come up. Core is engaged. Three, two, last one. Shake it out. Going back to that squat jump or squat onto your toes. In three, two, here we go. Squat and little hop, little hop. I know you guys are working hard at home. Keep it up. Remember at any time, if you need to get water, hydrate. Drink lots of water after your workout. We have 10 seconds left. Here's four, three, two. Shake those legs out. Whew, I know they're getting tired. Here comes that sumo squat. Toes to the outside corners. Knees tracking over those middle toes. Three, two, let's pulse it. Little pulses. Can you go a little bit lower for me this time? 
I know you guys are working hard. I think I'm so glad you could join us today. And good for you for getting into a, doing a workout from home. Here's three, two, last one. Stand it up, shake it out. Here comes that adductor lift. Feet about hip width apart again. In four, three, two, squat and lift. Squat, lift. You do not have to lift very high. Your range of motion may not be what someone else's is, and that's okay. You're just working at your level, squeezing those thighs, squeezing those glutes. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. We have finished our second round. If you want to, pause the video again, go for two more rounds, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You have that option. Now we're going into set three. I want you to grab some water, continue to hydrate, and I also want you to stay up on your feet so that we can keep that heart rate up. So our next three exercises are jumping jacks, knee repeaters, and a side kick or a side push. So we've got regular jumping jacks, stepping or hopping. You've got knee repeaters. So we're going to pull that knee into the chest four times. Switch to the other side four times. And then we're going to go to a side kick. So we want that guard up, strong arms, kick and kick. Here we go. Jumping jacks in three, two, regular jumping jacks. Remember, you have this option to step it out if you're not ready for that plyo. If you want a, no, a deeper challenge, jump. Come into a star jack. Make your decision which one works best for you. Less than 10 seconds. Gonna go into those repeaters, knee repeaters. All right, good job, rest. Recover. We're going to start with our four knee repeater on the right side. So turn to the left. Here we go. In three, two, arms up, pull, pull, three, four, switch, four, three, two, switch, four, three, two, switch. Pull that knee up into your chest. Engage the core as you pull. 10 seconds left. Three, two, last one. Now we're coming to our side push. I want that guard up, so strong arms in front of you. Get ready. In four, three, two, kick to the side. Now turn your hips and kick out. Turn your toe down towards the floor. Engage the hamstrings. Engage the quads and engage the glutes. Twisting side to side and doing that side kick. We're halfway there. As always, core is engaged. Five, four, three, two, last one. Going back to those jumping jacks. We're on set three. Three, two, jumping jacks right here. Just regular jumping jacks with those options. You can even come to a star jump if that's what you need today. We're halfway there. Don't give up on me. I know you guys can do this. Here's five, four, three, two, last jack, step touch. Now we've got those four knee repeaters. I like to call them screamers because sometimes it makes those quads and hamstrings scream loud. Here we go in three, two, knee repeaters. 
switch, three, four, switch, four, three, two, switch, four, three, two, keep them coming. You're halfway there. Here's four, three, two, last one, shake it out. Now that side push, last thing in this set. Arms up, got that guard, strong arms in three, two, here we go, side push. Turn that hip out, kick to the side. Look to the side when you kick. Chamber that leg and push it out. Halfway there. 10 seconds. Here's four, three, two, last one. Great job. Three sets done. If you wish, pause the video, do two more rounds, 30 seconds each. Exercise. Now we're going to go to our core section. So you're going to need a mat and a weight. So grab a quick drink of water and then go grab your mat and your weight. You don't have to have a weight, but if you want to get a towel or something, if you don't have a mat, that'll work too. Same thing here. We're going to go 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Our first exercise is a weighted sit up. So come join me on your mats and let's get started. Grab that weight. We're gonna come all the way down. Sit up, lift up. Three, two, let's lift. Come all the way down, knees are bent. Lifting those hands above your head. Another option here is to raise that weight above your head when you come down. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going. Three, two, last one. We have a boat sit now. So sit it up. Lean back with a straight back. Bring your hands by your knees. Boat sit, here we go. In three, two, lift those heels if you can. And try to keep those shins parallel to the floor. An option here is to keep your heels on the mat. Another option is to bring your hands to your shins to support your legs. Another option is to keep those legs crossed. Several options here, keeping that core engaged, flat back. You have less than five seconds. Three, two, last one. Sit it all the way up. We're gonna to go to a Russian twist in five, Four, three, two, here we go. Russian twist, boat sit, same thing. Twist to each side. I want you to go slow and controlled, bringing that weight or that water bottle down toward the floor. You have an option here of lifting your feet to get a little more challenge, or you can keep your heels down to the mat. 10 seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, last one. Coming back to that sit up. So come all the way down. Here we go. In four, three, two, sit it up. Use that core to sit all the way up. Raise that weight above your head. You have the option of bringing the weight all the way above your head when you come down. You also have the option of dropping that weight. Less than 10 seconds. Here's four, three, two, last one. Boat sit, so get ready. Heels on the floor, lean it back. In three, two, arms by your legs. Option to keep those heels on the mat or lift the legs and try to bring your shins 
parallel to the mat, holding that core, keeping your chin up. You have 15 seconds left. Almost there. In four, three, two, and recover. Last exercise, Russian twist, and then we're gonna to come to our cool down. So grab that weight in four, three, two, here we go, twist to the front, twist to the front. Slow and controlled here, no quick movements. We're using our obliques, twisting to the side. Try to bring that weight down to the mat, keeping that back flat, halfway there. Less than 10 seconds. Here's four, three, two, last one. Excellent, excellent job. You have finished four sets. Again, if you want to do this longer, you can take that set four and do two more rounds, 30 seconds each, and that will get you more time and more cardio workout. We're gonna cool it down now. So I want you to lay all the way back onto your mat, lifting up your right leg to the ceiling. Bring your hands behind your shin or behind your hamstring and feel a good, nice stretch. Keeping your lower back pressed into the mat. Here's four, three, two, relax. Bring that right ankle to the left knee. I want you to pull that left leg into your chest. Press your elbow onto your right knee and feel that nice hamstring stretch. You can flex your feet and feel a little bit deeper stretch, but you want to keep your hips squared to the ceiling. And release. Uncross that right foot. Lift the left leg all the way to the ceiling. Getting that hamstring stretch. Nice deep breaths here. And then bring that left ankle to the right knee. Come back into that reverse pigeon where you pull that left knee into your chest. If you feel any pain here, just back out of this pose and drop that right foot down to the floor. You want a deeper stretch, remember to pull those heels, uh, feet to flex position. And release, drop that right foot down, uncross the left, bring our knees into our chest, give them a nice hug, maybe even lift that lower back up off the mat, stretching that back. And release. Now I want you to flip over into a tabletop position. So we're gonna bring our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees are underneath our hips. So you're in a tabletop position, arching the back, coming into a cat pose, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, chin to the chest, tailbone is tucked, open up those shoulder blades, and release, dropping the belly toward the floor, lifting the gaze in front of you, and lifting the tailbone, coming into a, cat po a cow pose. Once more, coming into a cat, opening up the shoulder blades, and inhaling into a cow, dropping that belly toward the floor, stretching those abs. Now come all the way down onto your belly. We're gonna come into a quad stretch here, so bring your left arm in front of you, reach your right hand behind your back, pulling your foot into your glutes, stretching your quads, keeping that head lifted, chin is off the chest. Nice work. Switch left hand to left foot, getting that quad stretch.
and release. Bring your hands by your chest. Press all the way up into a down dog. We're going to stretch our hamstrings here. In a down dog position, we want to press that chest toward the quadriceps. Neck is relaxed. You can walk the dog here, bending one knee and alternating with the other. That will help stretch out your hamstrings. Four, three, two, come down to a seated position. Let's bring that right leg out to your side. Inhale, both arms up. As you exhale, lean toward your leg. Stretching your obliques here. Inhaling back to the center, swapping legs, straightening out your other leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lean toward that leg. And inhale back to the center. Now bring your feet together into bound angle. Bring those heels close to the center of your body. Lifting that chest straight back. Taking a deep inhale. As you exhale, leaning forward. Feeling a nice stretch in your inner thighs here. And release. Coming to a seated position. Let's do one last inhale. Inhale the arms up. Exhale your arms down and relax. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I hope you join us again for another video and a home workout. Stay safe and healthy.